are the clean energy entrepreneurs are facing is uh, the costing of externalities. Our bright spots on the legislative side, there are bright spots on the technology side, um, but there are some real sort of uh, uh, dark spots federally. The problem that we have in this country is that uh, I believe we lack policy that clearly favors clean energy sources over traditional energy sources. The fact that their competitive sources of energy uh, are uh, priced low, uh, unfairly low, because they don't have to account for uh, you know, climate effects and health effects. and, and those. So that, that's, that's the biggest one in my view. There's the perception, and I think it's a perception, I think that will subside over the next five years or ten years, that there's technology risk in this area. One thing about Canada is that it's very difficult to characterize Canada as a country as opposed to a series of provinces in terms of energy policy. I think you've got very old infrastructure um, empires uh, or you know vast uh, you know bodies of assets that just have not had to change for a long period of time. That's one of the complications with renewable power. We really do have 10 if not 13 different regimes for renewable power. I think government policy uh, is a very important role. Really in terms of having an adult conversation about what carbon means and what we should be doing about it. Mm -hmm. We're just not present in that conversation. Mm -hmm.